In a previous video, we talked about Blender add-on that allows us to quickly add physics to our models in a simple process, and it is called Bone Dynamics. Morlud, the developer behind this tool, recently released an add-on called SimpliCage, a new physics-related add-on that can be used smoothly along with Bone Dynamics Pro, as we briefly demonstrated in the previous video. In short, Simply Cage helps you generate collision boxes and physics-ready cages from mesh, bones, or vertex groups. Stick with me here to see how it works, and how it can save you a lot of time when animating. First of all, let's take a look at the interface. After selecting the mesh we're gonna work on, in other words, the mesh we're gonna generate the physics cage for, we have three-stage toggle button to specify the time of the input, whether it is generated from a single bone, multiple bones, or from a vertex group, and another toggle button to select the output type, either we want to generate a collision box or cloth physics cage, or even generate a simple cage without physics applied to it. We can toggle on and off advanced settings, but in most cases, other than the rematch resolution, we can get nice results without the need to tweak any other numbers. Under the settings, we have access to 8 cloth settings presets in case we went for cloth physics. And finally, in the last section, we have some settings to manage the existing cages or for baking the simulations. I had so much fun playing around with the add-on, because it is so easy to use. Let's just say for example, we need a part of your character's body to have collision. You can either do it using bones or vertex groups, and either way, you just need to select the part of your character that needs collision. Hit create collision box, and that's it. If your model isn't high poly enough, I advise you to uncheck remesh, in order to get faster results. Same for soft bodies, you can either do it using bones, in case you are working on a rigged model, or just going for a vertex group in a similar process. By hitting the create cage button, the add-on will create a physics ready cage with the right cloth settings applied to it if you have selected a physics preset. If you switch to weight paint mode, you can paint the pink group, the parts you don't want the physics to be applied to, which can be very useful. And here are some examples of what you can achieve in a matter of minutes using this add-on. I used only the add-on's physics presets without any playing around with the physics properties panel. Using the same simple process again and again for each interaction, I mean interactions between the soft body objects and collision boxes. Assigning a vertex group, selecting the object in the add-on, then selecting what type of physics I need, and then I hit create. Although this add-on is not free, it comes with a free version that you can try, which gives you the ability to generate physics boxes from a single bone, and a light version that allows you to generate boxes from single and multiple bone selections. With that out of the way, combining simple cage and bone dynamics can be a great idea to produce better looking physics animations. For example, in this quick looping animation, I used bone dynamics for the general shape of the punching bag and gave its armature that heavyweight looking chain, then used simply cage to generate a rematch soft body cage in order to simulate the interaction between the character and the surface of the bag. For the pin group, I pinned everything except the area where the character is gonna hit the surface, and this was the result. If you are interested in the add-on and you wanna try it for yourself, you can find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.